Welcome to the midweek devotional for March 24th, Psalm, Scripture, and Prayer for the fifth week in Lent. I'm Ann Morrison, and this is your weekly devotional. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Lord, you are kind and forgiving, full of love to all who call on you. Welcome to the devotional friends. Let's check in with our psalm of the day. This is Psalm 119, beginning with the ninth verse, a part of the glories of God's law. How can young people keep their way pure by guarding it according to your word? With my whole heart, I seek you. Do not, do not let me stray from your commandments. I treasure your word in my heart so that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips, I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. I delight in the way of your decrees as much as in all riches. I will mediate on your precepts. I fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Our psalm for today. And our scripture today is from Philippians in the second chapter, beginning with the first verse. If then there is any encouragement in Christ, any consolation from love, any sharing in the spirit, any compassion and sympathy, make my joy complete. Be of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interest, but to the interest of others. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness and being found in human form. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our prayer for today, please join me now in a moment of prayer. Almighty God, our Redeemer, in our weakness, we have failed to be your messengers of forgiveness and hope. Renew us by your Holy Spirit, that we may follow your commands and proclaim your reign of love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And in dismissal, what thoughts have come to your mind during this time of devotion? We invite you to share them with everyone in the comments below. We will see you again next week for another devotional. Until then, blessed be the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Amen.